Number 45. Verify that the units of a volt ampere are watts, as implied by the equation power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. So P is equal to IV. So the power here, we're trying to uh, verify that uh, this indeed power, which is a known as a watt, will be equal to, you know, volt ampere. So the unit for current here is in amperes. The unit for voltage is in volts, so that won't really change. So somehow I got to have W equal that, you know, that side. So we have to now deconstruct this. Remember that uh, current here, current is also known as, as you can see over here on the top right, the current is also known as the change in charge divided by the change in time, or just the charge over time. Remember, charge is measured in coulombs. Time is going to be uh, measured in seconds. All right. So what I can do now is instead of writing amps, we realize now amp is the same thing as coulombs per second. Coulombs. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply that now by the voltage. Now the formula over here isn't on the right-hand side, but it is from the prior chapter. So hopefully we, we remember some of those formulas. So the voltage here is fairly straightforward. That voltage will equal the change in potential energy. You might remember this, right? Change in potential energy divided by then the uh, charge, lowercase q. Difference between capital and lowercase? I don't even know. Don't worry about it. Lowercase is usually point charge, but it doesn't really matter. They have the same units, okay? So in other words, the top unit here is energy, so that's a joule. The bottom unit here is charge, so that's a coulomb. So it's basically joules per coulomb. So what we're going to do here for the voltage now is plug in joules per coulomb. And whoa, wait a minute. So coulombs go bye-bye. huh? And now I have to say or see that the watts is now equal to joule per second. Now, this doesn't look equal, but it is equal. How do we know that? Well, remember, power is known as this. Power is equal to the rate of energy transfer divided by the time over which it took to transfer that amount of energy. So what's the unit of energy? Joule. What's the unit of time? Seconds. So in other words, a watt is the same thing as a joule per second. And oh, joule per second equals joule per second? Sure. So now that verifies the relationship that watts is equal to volt ampere. All right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and we'll see you soon. Be well.